offense like? What was the retention level like for you guys today? Uh, well, offense, everything with tempo and um, just one play at a time. Just go out there and try to execute that play. Uh, we got a lot of freshmen, some newcomers in. Uh, try to go out there as veterans and help them through the plays as we go on work fast. How close do you think that tempo was to, to what the coaches want to see? Uh, I think we met their uh, expectation. Uh, just think we got to step it up a little bit more. Uh, like I said, and uh, the coach say we just take it one play at a time and uh, just try to execute one play. Uh, you never know when you're going to get the next rep at it. Marlon, does it feel different now that you're the man in charge in the backfield, you're senior now, and just a few years ago or last year, it feels like you're still working to get those first team reps? Uh, I mean, uh, to me, it feels the same because, uh, you know, as me playing that, uh, my freshman and sophomore year and then my junior year made me feel like a senior because uh, me and Ray was the oldest guys in the room. And uh, we had the most experience. So uh, both of us took the chance of uh, one end, we coached the others. Um, so I feel like I'm in the same role, just got to step it up more. What do you see your role being this year? Uh, just leading, um, power my position. You know, um, when I'm out there, I'm representing my running back group and my coach and uh, my head coach and my team. So I just want to get out there and give uh, everything I got. Do you think the running back position could end up being one of the strengths of the team? Uh, I, I could say that. You know, we can contribute in a lot of stuff, pass protection, running the ball. And um, just uh, just help a lot in the uh, run game, you know, uh, just open it up for the wide receivers. You've averaged at least 5.3 yards a carry the last two years. Do you have a goal to improve that? I mean, do you think you can get to six per carry? Uh, yeah, it's easy. You know, I work on it, you know, uh, all season. You know, I just work on my legs, um, strength. Uh, just keeping up with my weight and um, just knowing the plays more so I can understand it uh, to get up to six yards and probably work it up to seven and eight. What have you seen out of Jalen Hurts? Uh, he did a bit turnaround from the spring. You know, uh, he's more outspoken now, so he know the offense a little bit more so he can help me um, help me lead other people. And um, I feel like everybody pretty much catching on quick, you know, and, um, and it's hard to do in the fast-paced offense. What about Scott and Paul? What have been your impressions of them early? Uh, they they learning, you know, um, slowly, but they they learning well, you know. Um, as we expect, they freshmen, you know, and just going real fast. You know, the first day we knew it was gonna be kind of slow with them, but we wanted them to focus, and um, and I just stay with them, stay positive with them, and um, to keep their heads up, and I'm gonna help them um through the offense. You've been in a lot of battles. Do you also try to help the offensive line since they are replacing all those guys, and then just sort of give them them some thoughts and, and sit in and talk with them, things like that? Oh uh, yeah, you know. Uh, like I said, in the spring, beginning before we started practice, I took the offensive line out and um, lead and sat with the quarterbacks, you know, um, just get to know a lot of them, you know, because um, we got a whole new starting lineup. And um, I just want to feel close close with them, you know, and treat them um, the same as we treated our O-line last year. You think the more you feed them, the better they block for you? No, nah, I just um, fed them. I just wanted to get to know them one by one, you know, um, from the left guard to the right guard, we got new new faces. Uh, just want to get to know them and uh, see what they like to do, and, you know, off field and they are uh, battles, uh, they are uh, hardship they had off the field, so I can play harder for them. Coach Jones uh, a few weeks ago called you a success story. Do you think of yourself as a success story? Uh, I would say I just learned from all the mistakes I did, you know, growing up and um, coming here, and, um, falling behind, you know, and I just did a big turnaround. I just told myself. Uh, Got an energy bus I got today on my front, front of my bus. You know, um, if I don't have everything I need to do accomplished today, I won't be successful for tomorrow. You've been a real effective runner inside the tackles. Do you feel like your next step is, is being able to go turn the corner and run outside? Uh, I feel like I could turn the uh, corners, but um, my game is getting north and south. That's the only way we can move the change, you know, and um, not trying to force it outside, you know, uh, trying to get the linebackers in the uh, second and third level from um, angles to you know run us down, just stay north and south.